This program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 years old, stop listening and find more age-appropriate content. If you are offended by any content herein, that is your own problem as you have been warned. Do not try this at home. Release the crack! With certain other things, and other th- certain things, so on and so forth, it's one of those kind of days. We're having a makeshift show. Hopefully, uh, y'all can hear me. And yes, I'm pretty sure you can. So, that being said, it is Shots from the Balcony. It is brought to you in part by Resurrection Vapor at ResurrectionVapor.com. And you can check them out because they have a ton of e-juice and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, triple dub, ResurrectionVapor.com. Fantastic. Tell them Hammer sent you. Tell them Bad Habits Network sent you. You'll probably give them a good laugh to be like, hey, yeah, them guys. So anyway, also, this has been brought to you in part by Vape Walkie, Pewaukee, Wisconsin's number one facility for vaping and vaping accessories. Boy, I tell you what, anytime I need to go vape, I use vapewalkie.com. Or I actually go to Pewaukee, Wisconsin and just say, hey, give me some vapor and vapor accessories. So yeah, check them out. They got high end, low end, everything in between. A clearance section that'll blow your mind. It's fantastic. Now, since some things went sideways, we are trying to do this as best we can. I know Lavin's going to try and make it in here on a Wayne's World esque ideal, uh, meaning he's going to come into the studio mid brief. And we had a couple people with us in the Anaheim from my team. And I'm going to ring them now, so we're going to try this. I'm going to leave Mr. Keto out of it, I guess. So, and I'm live. What's up, Sean? Your dog just got picked up a mile down the road, almost got hit by a car. Awesome. 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 How you doing, Gary? Oh, living that dream. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Listenerville, uh, we're on a Facebook Live conference call (laughs) with the one, the only, Chris Malhoit. And and I got to figure out, I got to figure out what, uh, Lavin's trying, we're we're, we're trying to get this going quick as possible here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Jeff, Jeff. Just uh, be forewarned for the audience, if there's any swearing in the background, uh, my best friend and business partner is playing Fortnite. Well, welcome to Bad Habits Network. This is a not safe for work show, so fuck that shit. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We wanted to do a quick Anaheim recap as well as uh, talk about one of my favorite things that Jeff gifted to me, uh, Life Vantage. Jeff? Yeah, so Anaheim is is freaking awesome. Um, Talk about Life Vantage first, yeah, why well, we were there. Well, yeah, like why we were there. Um, <laughs> we got Chris for 15 minutes, for Christ's sake. Minutes, be quick, be quick, be quick. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Life Vantage is uh, probably one of the most amazing things I found. Um, so I was doing awesome stuff, uh, just sharing this product with uh, the general state of Wisconsin, as well as you know our friends, our family, and it's really blown up here. Is that true, Chris? Uh, you know, Gary, I would say that this thing is blowing up right now, uh, 100%. We are looking at some pretty amazing things happening on the horizon, the, uh, the short horizon uh, for what I've seen on my team and where the company's at right now. Um, we are just starting to tip into that momentum curve, which is pretty exciting to be a part of. All right, and you're, you're stuck out in Maine currently, right? <laughs> what was that again? Hey, you're sitting out in Maine right now, currently, right? I am on the seacoast of New Hampshire. Oh, even better. Or worse, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Live free or die. <laughs> Live free or die hard. <laughs> now, uh, we, were, we, were at a, we were at a conference in Anaheim, California, and people have been hitting me up going, why haven't you talked about that yet? Uh, we've been trying to schedule Chris, as well as Keto, as well as a couple others, and I, I, I welcome all of Team Freedom Reigns to be a guest on this show. Uh, I know I'm kind of the oddball out because I'm in Wisconsin, and Jeff's one of those nomadic house cats. <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out, like, it's like, okay, I'm I'm part of Team Freedom Reigns. That's New England. Why, why, why? Why am I in Wisconsin? So I found out why I'm in Wisconsin and part of the New England chapter. Wisconsin doesn't have a chapter! <laughs> 
So well, we're we got to work on that, Gary. Yes, sir. And we're and building that. We're building that. And uh, we went out to uh, Anaheim, had this huge ass conference. Got to meet Di- Dr. Michael Epstein. Hung out with Chris and his uh, lovely, lovely full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Freshly shaved, brother. (laughs) Freshly shaved. Wait. Wait. (laughs) Yep. Uh, That's one hell of a delay. He didn't even hear the wait. I know. Wait. (laughs) Wait. Wait. Yeah. No, it's cutting out a little bit on my end. My apologies. It's probably our end, too. I'm on... I'm Okay, I'm on Wi-Fi, so it should be fine. So it should be fine. You shouldn't have to wait. Wait. No, don't have to wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no, that that conference was awesome, and uh, I'm glad that you were able to be out there for it. Uh, we got another one coming up, Global Convention, out in Salt Lake City in October. Uh, so anybody from the Wisconsin area that's looking for uh, a new way to create some freedom, definitely love to have you guys there, help expand that Wisconsin branch uh, of the organization. And, you know, Shoot, just worldwide. to jump in. Yeah, well, we're going on Worldwide's international company, publicly traded on the NASDAQ. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff to be excited about on that end. Uh, but what I'm really most excited about, just to share for a minute or two with your listeners here, is uh, hopefully some of you guys have heard of Robert Kiyosaki. Um, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich yes. Dad, Poor Dad. Um, you know, this is, in network marketing, the most effective and efficient way to create um, – that freedom in your life. So the traditional person is going to work nine to five or, you know, five till whatever in the morning, like I used to do as a bartender. Um, but you're not making money unless you're doing some work. You get a punch clock to get paid. Uh, and what we found a way to do through this industry is to create an income that you do the work once and you get paid off it for a lifetime. And that's what I'm really excited about with Life Vantage because I've always had big goals and dreams of doing a lot of traveling, getting around the world, um, you know, even just for starters around the U.S., which I've been able to accomplish so far, uh, to get out there and see some things. Now, to be able to do that, you can't be worried about punching the clock every day because your boss isn't going to be happy if you're trying to take vacations once a month or even every few months, right? Yeah, I can attest to that one, so, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> so what we're looking at is – you know, now having the ability to help uh, not just, you know, the geniuses of the world, but, you know, every, you know, individual that has some drive and desire to go and create something bigger and better for themselves and for their family uh, and to leave a legacy behind, which is one of my big goals. I've never had anybody in my family <clears throat> been able to leave a legacy before, um, you know, something behind besides, you know, maybe just selling a house and you know, a little bit of money. I want to leave, you know, much, much more than that for my family, um, you know, when I pass someday, which hopefully will be in a long time. But well, um, with Life Vantage, yeah. I see it being a long time. Yeah, yeah, we do have some uh, creative ways to extend your lifespan, if that's anything you're interested in. Um, so, you know, what's really exciting about this is helping that come out here, you can pick up one free cell phone uh, and service plan for the rest of your life. That most people would jump on that, right? Absolutely. So, what, so what's that, $100, $150 a month? So when you are able to grow your business just you know, in the first stages to the point where you're making a residual income of $150 a month, you now have a free cell phone for the rest of your life. Or if you want to look at it in a little bit bigger sense, um, what if you're able to generate enough to pay your rent? Uh, you know, a, a position I've already gone through, and you know, now you don't have to worry about paying your rent ever again. Well, I've been able to get to the point where now I have all of my bills covered with my passive income. Those cell phones, you had to. We, we make fun of it all the time. It's better than screaming kids, which is sometimes what you hear on these shows. In <laughs> Bad Habits Network, because this is a home studio. Fuck off. So <laughs> this has changed your life, Chris. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's changed my life health wise, but it's changed your life, you know, like, more like wealth wise. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you know what? I've been able to change a whole bunch of lives um, in the in the health aspect of it just by saying yes. You know, if I had never decided to join this company, um, there's uh, about five thousand people every single month that wouldn't be getting product because they would have never heard about it unless I had said yes, including you guys. So I'm and happy to have. Uh, thanks for saying yes. 
Yeah, I'm happy to be able to be a part of that. You know, those little goals or little changes for people and, you know, the really big ones as well. And uh, how how did you get started personally? Well, uh, um, I actually uh, heard about it through a buddy of mine who was a uh, dishwasher, actually, in the restaurant that I was bartending at. Uh, He told me he was starting a business and asked me if I would come check it out. And uh, I was really polite and told him that I wasn't interested in it, (laughs) but I was really (laughs) proud of him because I was already... I was in the process of actually starting my own business in the golf industry at the time. Oh, but I did love the kid to death. He's like a, a brother to me. Yeah, before this, I'd already read that book uh, about you know cash flow quadrants, you know Kiyosaki and all that stuff. So I I was already working on on the vision of being able to generate some passive income. Um, so I told Nick that I'd attend that meeting. I, I didn't want to do it, but I was happy that he was doing something. I was going to come down. I was going to support him. I was going to give him some feedback on what I saw. Um, and I, I looked at it with an open eye, um, and a clear mind. And when I got to the compensation part of the presentation, it really opened up my eyes and I, I was kind of blown away of, you know, what, uh, you know, um, wow. hold on a second, Chris. Back there. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. It's on. It's it's definitely on this. Okay, Chris, are you still there? All right, we're gonna cancel with Chris for a second and call him right back. See if we can't get that one. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, we're gonna try this one more again. Ah, oh, technical difficulties. There we go. I heard a headset in there. (laughs) Oh no. This is going horribly wrong and horribly right. There we go. Let's see if I can't do it one more again. And And then? Yep. Okay, there he is. There you go. Sorry okay, about that. that, folks. We can hear him now, and, and sorry about that auditorial assault. I'll, sorry try about and, I'll try and edit that out in post. That was Megatron. <laughs> that was goddamn <laughs> Decepticons. <laughs> <laughs> so, where was I? So we were talking about uh, Nick and, you know, how you went to the meeting with an open eye, and, you know, it... And that's when it cut out by and accident. And that's when it cut out. Okay. We heard... <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I, I went to that meeting. Um, I was planning on giving him some honest feedback on, on what I saw. And we got into the part of the presentation where they're talking about the comp plan and how you make money and, and how basically this all works. Um, and it's basically about uh, developing a system that can essentially replace you, right? So you're not doing this forever. You know, you build it once, like I said earlier, and you get paid for the lifetime of the company. Right. So at that point, uh, it really caught my attention. I started thinking about the potential of what I'd be able to do over the course of a few years with this. And I uh, decided that I was actually going to jump in and actually uh, gave up my other business, just gave it to my buddy, told me I was out and walked away from that and started this, um, working it in the nooks and crannies of my day. Well, there you go. And right guys, on. if you're just tuning in, we're talking about uh, Life Vantage and our little Anaheim recap. And, and we have one in the live chat room saying, uh, wait a minute, this isn't Basket Weaving 101? <laughs> you know, and, you know, coming from something like I got my snowboard brand, Why Me Snowboards, and, you know, I wish I wish I had a time machine because I would go back and tell my old self, you know, like do that down the road after you, you know, you really blow up your life edge side of stuff and go pursue life edge with your full 110%. So right on, good on you for, uh, you know, stepping away from that and realizing and making that decision. Yeah, well, it- it's worked out. Yeah, so far. I mean, and that's influenced, you know, myself, Gary, and a lot of other people, too. Big time. And everyone knows how I got on Life Vantage. Jeff's just sat there and looked at me and goes, here, happy birthday. Have a business. And then, oh, by the way, you're coming to Indianapolis with me on uh, in, in February. And then uh, uh, July, we got another thing. And then October, we got another thing, too. So Jeff basically planned out my whole year for me. <laughs> 
That's pretty good. It's a good friend right there. Yeah, uh, we've known each other since kindergarten, so... Yeah, 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 like 30 years. You know, people are like, <laughs> oh, you know him? I'm like, I've known him for 30 years. They're like, you put up with him? I'm like, 30 years, so... I'm used to it. <laughs> Every time, and then we go out to Anaheim, People, you're introducing me to people. It's like, yeah, I've known this guy for 30 years, and they look at me like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're still alive? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, fun fact, folks, uh, to our listeners out there, uh, Jeff is a little bit more rowdy than Hammer can be. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. And Jeff, well, you know- Jeff does not like to uh, wait. Wait. No, I just like to, I just like to send it. You know, and that's that's like what I'm doing with this too. I'm just sending it, uh, but yeah. that's where you know, like everything, you know, like Chris and Jordan, and you know, everybody with our team, you know, like we all have the same attitude of like, let's effing do this. Yeah, uh, I've I've watched uh, our our Pro Nine Donde. Yeah, Dondi. Dondi. Yeah. Yeah, Doctor Dondi Nettles. He's, uh, he's he's a legend. He's fantastic. I didn't know who he was, and then I got to kind of know him through Facebook and chat, and it's like, wow, this guy is a fantastic human being. And uh, Chris actually told me uh, when we were out in Anaheim, I was like, I'm surprised there's no uh, charlatans in this group yet. And he's, he goes, we usually weed them out. If I'm not mistaken, that was you, Chris, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and and uh, we we actually did a lot of a lot of fun things outside of uh, that. Uh, I know Jeff and you, Chris, did a nice little South Lake Tahoe tour. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, it's pretty awesome. It was a little smoky, though. But, you know, thank goodness we had our uh, Nerf 2, Nerf 1. Oh, are you talking about and the forest fires out yeah, there? Yeah, we were oh, taking wow. our Vitality stack. We were taking two of those a day. <laughs> but we were also uh, enjoying the libations of South Lake Tahoe and, you know, playing a little, doing a little gambling and stuff, too. You know what's crazy? Being out there at uh, top of Mammoth Mountain at 11,000-something feet, you know, I came from sea level. Oh. And it had literally zero effects on me with the altitude. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that we have a study on our product with uh, high altitude sickness. And <laughs> I've been on it for the last six years. But yeah, but you never had a chance was, to like, really that experience that. And it didn't even affect me. Yeah. Right. And, that's, and that's because of the preventative measures with the oxidative stress, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah, my body was just you know geared up and ready to go. So you're always ready for new challenges when your body's running at its highest efficiency, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Whether you're an now, athlete or just a weekend warrior. Now, Chris, uh, can I ask can I ask a, a personal yeah. regimen question? Like, what what is it that you do every day with Life Vantage? Are you just on the, the Vitality stack? Or what what is it that – walk us through this day without coffee. Without coffee. So what happens, I get up uh, – <laughs> When, when I can, when I'm ready, uh, normally head over to the gym, have a little snack before I go there, uh, do my workout, get my vitality stack and the fat burn. Um, and I normally take those right at the gym so I don't forget. I keep it all right in my golf bag or my golf bag. <laughs> <laughs> Been thinking about and, golf uh, My gym bag. Um, then I also uh, normally drink an Axio on the way over there, which is that uh, brain food. Um, kind of energy enhancement that we have. Um, so I have that on the way over, probably have another one on the way home, come back, uh, hit the computer, follow up on a few messages that I need to do, touch base with my group, um, and then have a protein shake. We have an incredible protein shake, which is probably the cleanest on the market. I know Jeff looked at a lot of those products. It wasn't something that I had done a lot of research on, but all the athletes in my group have told me, you know, over and over and over again how amazing that product is, uh, just being so clean and uh, and all that. I like the um, fact that it's. I like the fact that a lot of the products are vegan friendly and GMO free and all that other stuff. That's that's something that, and it's keto friendly too. That's what. Uh, and I'm not talking Jordan. I'm talking the the diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. That was uh, Jordan Keto that was playing Fortnite earlier. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a big joke, too. I remember when he said the original Keto diet. Bar breads yeah. and tequila. <laughs> so, this, this being the Bad Habit Network as well, it's probably something that I should add. Uh, ever since I started taking the Pro Tandem about six years ago, I haven't been hung over, which is something and- that... You send it. It's probably good for people to know. Right, and yeah. we've, we've proven it uh, live on a few shows. We've done a hangover show, and uh, 
I was the only one using NRF1 and NRF2, and everyone else was like, dude, how are you still able to do this? <laughs> yeah. I love awesome. it when people are like, people ask me, like, I went, I think I sent it like a couple Friday nights ago. I was drinking a few beers, like maybe like eight, nine, ten. And then I woke up and went and worked out like for two hours with my friend who's like ridiculous at working out. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's like mm-hmm. the head trainer at the gym. So, and people are like, what, how, how are you doing this? And I'm like, look guys, we got, you know, we got this live, uh, Facebook interview we're doing, check this out. And we're doing this podcast. So we're, you know, we're just sharing about the how, so no hangovers. And, and in traditional fashion for the bad habits network as well, uh, bad habits aren't necessarily bad for you. I mean, the reason why, uh, life vantage, uh, yeah, that guy, Gary Homry has been, supporting this is because bad habit without a bad habit you, you can't really enjoy it if you're dead so yeah. i'm 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 well i'm well on to bringing that line on to ours for sponsorship as well i mean thank you gary homry for christ's sake you're a fucking fantastic human <laughs> you're an <laughs> asshole but you're a fantastic human <laughs> and you know like i gotta ask another question like what's you know the quality of your life so mine's been awesome chris um you know since i've been on this product i mean how much has so it's not just about extending your life, it's about extending the quality. I mean, would you, you've been on this a lot longer than me, You're like, shit, like, six, seven, like, a long time, right? Yep. So, I mean, how, I mean, how much better do you feel, like, every day compared to, you know, when, before, you know, health-wise? Well, I'll tell you, man, I was probably the epitome of your Bad Habits Network. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was living in a place that we called The Compound uh, with about 15 other people and five houses that all worked at the same restaurant. So uh, we worked late hours. We, we drank even later. Uh, the recycling com- uh, recycling guy probably hated when he came to our neighborhood because it was... <laughs> Stacks on stacks of stacks of uh, recycle bins full of beer cans out there, <laughs> uh, you know. And the game—I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the game Wizard Sticks, where yep. you drink a bunch <laughs> of tape together, and then you drink another one, and then you got this like six-foot-long Bud Light can covered in duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, those were always constantly. Constantly out there being broken into like three sections so they could fit in their recycling bins. Um, That was my life before this. And, you know, I'm not saying that I'm, uh, you know, some sort of crazy health guru now. But what I do know is that, um, you know, just these little steps in the right direction helped me start to transform my life. I'm down um, from uh, what I would call... A little overweight, not not huge, but I've dropped 25 pounds, so I'm right around uh, what you would call your fighting weight right now. Uh, exercise four or five days a week. Um, you know, I'm just way healthier. Yeah, uh, I still I feel like I'm we've been kind of in like a time capsule. I don't feel like I've really aged at all in the last you know six seven years. Um, you know, and I'm still a little younger, but you know, when talking. Uh, looking at like pictures of my mother, she's been on this product just as long. She, she's uh, 60 years old now, and she actually looks 10 years younger than she did when she actually started taking the product. Right. Uh, with you, skincare line and all that stuff. Um, her that- skin, and looking at her, she like legit looks you know, 10, 15 years younger than she did uh, when she first started with the company. And I've seen the pictures. Uh, I, got, uh, I, I finally got to meet Mama Malhoit uh, out in Anaheim, and Holy shit, she is a trip. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean it's helped her and it's even helped Jimmy a lot too. Oh Jimmy. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh mean, my god. With everything that he had going on. Yeah, you want to talk about the epitome of bad habits. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. He's off like twenty something medications. Yes. Yes. Just- he 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 is a he is a prime example of uh party hard and then repair the hell out of it hard. Err. Yeah, when it comes to uh, this life vantage products. So, yeah, guys. Well, I actually have to get hopping off here. I have a, a Facebook Live interview that's going to be going on at the top of the hour. Woohoo! One of the uh, top guys in our company, Pro Nine, Seth Campbell, who is an absolute stud, millennial, um, young kid that got into this company and worked his butt off, and is now sitting on. You know, somewhere around fifty thousand dollars a month of passive income. 
So Jesus. I'm really excited to meet him, and he's actually going to be out here in New Hampshire um, this weekend. Awesome. And I'm spent with him here. So, well, tell him we said hi. Yeah, I will definitely uh, give him the best of the Bad Habits Network uh, and the stuff that I can share. <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah, this uh, is definitely not safe for work. I even put that out in Team Freedom Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, well, I appreciate you guys having me on. I look forward to hopping on here again. This is my first podcast. It's actually pretty fun with the uh, just kind of going around the horn aspect of it, which is pretty cool. So I look forward to being back uh, and hopping on with you guys again and uh, learning the art of the podcast. Oh, it it'll awesome. it'll happen, Chris. It'll happen. Because we got more stories to share that include you about Anaheim as well as uh, Indianapolis and a couple other spots. <laughs> and more to come, I believe, uh, Utah in the future. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's too bad that uh, you guys weren't down at Atlantis with me. Um, Atlantis. For, for that oh. trip with me and Mr. Keto. Yeah, I, I saw the pictures. A podcast about that. But we'll, oh, boy. <laughs> we'll, we'll save that for when you guys get to... Uh, when you guys get to the next incentive trip with us, which is Ireland. So Ireland, Jameson yes. and Guinness. And anybody that's never been to Ireland, if you want a free trip, reach out to Gary because he'll uh, he'll show you the way to, to earn that real quick. Uh, yeah, definitely. Check out that link in our uh, description here profile. But we're going to let Chris go, and I'm going to run a couple more promos, and Lavin and I will just... Uh, yeah, we'll catch up. We'll catch up with you later, Chris. All right. Thanks for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. Rock on. Rock on. Stay, on. Stay awesome, Chris. Peace. All right, that was uh, good old Chris Malhoit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> one of uh, one of our up channels from Life Vantage. Yeah. And let's talk about that. Our up channels are fucking awesome. Oh, they're even, everybody. Even our parallels are fucking awesome. Yeah, right? everybody's really freaking awesome. I uh, I wish we could have Tammy here to talk about this because we're gonna get her on eventually. eventually. She's got she's gonna break out of her uh, shyness. We're gonna break out of her. Yeah, she's gonna break <laughs> out of her shell. I think so. And, you know, like, we're we're always looking for more people, you know, like, especially in this region. We're trying to build out. Oh, and, and also, if you, uh, if you really want to know what we're talking about oh. and you want to join us firsthand, that's exactly what we did with Tammy. Touche. We did. Yeah, she, uh, she, was a, she was just a customer, and we brought her out to the Anaheim one. We actually stayed in an Airbnb out in San Pedro. Yeah. And, wow, that was an experience in itself. Yeah, because neither of you guys have done Airbnb. And I'm like, really? I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, like, we won't be on campus with the whole event, but... Oh, dude, I don't like doing the... On- One, the, the on-campus was Anaheim, California. It, you were walking outside to just... It's fuck, a dry heat. Fucking Alex. It's a Sorry. dry heat. <laughs> he goes, he's, uh, he's Alex from uh, uh, A1. Yeah. Uh, he was on the show uh, on, oh, on Saturday. Right. He's, he's, yep. he's doing live fan. <laughs> we did our pro life vintage. Oh my god! With the guitar. I yeah. wish he was here right now because no, I'm sure he's busy at his insurance paying job. So. Yeah, no, I know. But to play the the whole guitar in the background because like we, it. it just makes me so much more dude, motivated. Dude, no, the motivation hit at the end of the show when we were getting really racy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even so. I was re-listening to that show, going, "Oh my god, oh my god, what were we doing?" <laughs> So we were in. We were talking about Anaheim, and because uh, I didn't, I, I stepped outside to go vape, because I didn't. You know, I don't. I know the California regulations and laws; they're kind of wonky out there. And uh, you go outside, you look across the street. There's Disneyland. I'm not staying at any of the hotels in the near vicinity <laughs> campus area at near Disneyland. <laughs> too expensive, too chaotic, and way too many Midwesterners. Don't you know? Don't you know? Let's go hit one of those carts on the corner. I think they're tacos. I love tacos. <laughs> tacos, tacos. <laughs> well, that's funny. Yeah. No, it, it, it was it was good times. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, yeah, so we did the Airbnb thing. That was an uh, experience for these two. I've done it quite a few times all over the country. And then let's see. And then no, we yeah. did Bubba. We hit a bucket list on mine. Bubba Gumps. Yeah, I did Bubba Gumps. I'm not impressed. <laughs> oh, you want shrimp or shrimp or yeah. shrimp cocktails? Or? It, it was okay. Picture it like this: it's Applebee's centric uh, uh, around a bu- Bubba Bubba Gump themed Forrest Gump bullshit. Fuck you, restaurant. You should have made just stayed it with Applebee's. You'll get more Midwesterners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. True story. Um, then you did it in and out. 
Yeah, the in and out for my first time ever. I believe it was Tammy's first time ever, too. Yeah. But golly. And I did a uh, protein style for my first time ever where you get it without the bun. They just wrap it in lettuce. Mm-hmm. You know? And then you told me about, like, I guess it was beast mode style or what? Oh, animal, animal style. Animal style. Animal style, yeah. Meat on on top of meat on top of meat. Diced onions and all <laughs> sorts of stuff. And then you get the animal fries, which is like chili cheese fries. There's a whole secret menu to in and out so I was kind of sharing it with those two, and they're kind of like, what do we do? Yeah, we're deer I, in the I, headlights. Was, I was deer in the headlights because it's like, oh, what what other kind of garbage can I can I challenge my life vantage to? Because <laughs> I mean, good well, thing you, for those probiotics. Oh my god, those yeah, whoops. <laughs> yep, no, probiotics are. And that's probably like one of the most amazing products because your gut health is super super important and. I used to have a super acidic biome, and now I've gone to more alkaline. And, and mine's super duper my, acidic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found that out last night. I forgot to take my uh, my bio. Don't do that again. Yeah, I gotta I gotta keep that stuff. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you lose friends pretty <laughs> quick. A month. You, I'm doing it a month at a time with the probiotics, and and I'm like, oh shit, I'm out. And everyone else went. Oh shit, he's out. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Land, landfill ass came back. <laughs> <laughs> when you're sitting there eating nothing but a Wisconsin barbecue regimen of shitty meats and bad cheeses. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, there's a Wisconsin food pyramid, so it uh, it goes with brats, beers, and cheese, and burgers. Well, yeah, sometimes or brat Land, burgers I, or brat burgers are my personal <laughs> favorite. The garbage burgers where you throw all the toppings in. Yeah. And, and and two eggs and yeah you you name it folks we don't eat well in Wisconsin it's it's one of those states where you got to keep your guard up for your digestive tract and your diet yep it's kind of like going down to the south where they got nothing but awesome awesome high caloric goodness <laughs> I'm talking jambalaya I'm talking like steak and shake all that stuff yeah Jesus. <laughs> Yep. Well, yeah, but the probiotics, it, it, it will, it, I guarantee you you folks really will notice a difference when your gut biome is really back on point. Yeah, and it helps a lot. Then uh, the other thing I've been really uh, emphasizing, emphasizing Sizing. on is... Still, uh, still doing it from, from kindergarten, huh? Yeah, I can't. Uh-huh. I, I can't <laughs> English. I have the I dumb. Can't, I, yeah, I can't, <laughs> but I Spanish and I French better. And sometimes Yeah, ladies, Chinese. remember that. <laughs> Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so we got uh, you know, our Omega account, making sure that that is really high. That's been a huge thing of mine, too, because, oh, you know, the, once uh, you're... The Omega Plus? Yeah, the Omega oh, Plus, oh, but once, you're, once your biome's up, um, you have good, healthy gut, you can absorb more nutrients and stuff like that, so it's really key. And it gets rid of the bad stuff that we put in our bodies, like when you send it on a Friday night. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. send it every other night like we've been kind of doing every weekend. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Yep. Since, or, since I've been here. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Definitely actually, been, uh, since you've been here. Well, or every show I do, except for this one, because it's just WADA today. WADA. WADA. No Axio, because I would be flying off the handle right now. Yeah. You um, just got done with a workout. So, yeah. Yeah. Second one of the day. Um, anyways. What? Make, yeah. Two. Oh my god. Two. And I've been doing nothing but the physique shake and I had like a couple eggs for uh for breakfast. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that is really, really huge. Um that, that, that was, whole lineup. That was something I wanted to bring up too when we were out in Anaheim. They they actually gave you a lot of diet tips out there in those sidebar rooms. Oh yeah. Holy shit. They're yeah. sitting there talking about, uh, well, if, if you're on the full regimen of this this travel pack that we got conveniently, and it is, the vitality very, stack. It is very convenient to have pre-packaged, you ain't got to put it in a pill bottle or a, or a, a, one of those pill dividers just yeah. to make sure I'm going to have to again because, you know, hey, shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on my back stock, but... Uh, they, it comes prepackaged separately. You got an omega. You got the gut biome, the the probiotic, and then you got the NRF one, NRF two, in three separate little packages that just conveniently fit into like uh, your pocket, even. Yeah, it's meant for being on the go and making life easier for yep. a guy like me. I'm never in 
one place more than a few months. Like I said, you're the nomadic house cat. Yeah. Or, um, <laughs> I've been out here for a couple weeks. A couple weeks, yeah. And man, I can just take that with me to the gym or wherever I want to go. Right. And being a former weightlifter myself slash wannabe bodybuilder, I, I got deep into it, guys. Let's let's just put it that way. I had uh, the Arnold Bible. Yeah, you did on my bo- on my nightstand. <laughs> yep i I got pretty well. Jeff, you got you got to see me both coming out of the military and then after the military. Right. I look like an Ethiopian in a hostage situation. Yeah. And then I started bulking back up again. Right. And then I kept sending it at the gym where you actually got to witness me do. Uh, let's see here, 45 plus 90 on, 90 on each sides, uh, bar, uh, barbell curls. I remember that. Yeah, just just 90 on each arm. I was 180 just, plus yeah. the bars, like 25. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was I was I was curling some heavy weight. 245, I, 225. I was pretty. Jeff got to see me get pretty beefy, and then I became a dad. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out here, too, that have, you know, gone to dad bod land. Oh, total dad bod land, dude, and I fucking enjoy every minute of it. (laughs) But you know what? I've actually watched Transformation in the past nine months. Nine months, because that's when uh, it'll be a year. It's it's a year already. Yeah. Because you hooked me up in July of last year. Yeah. And said, here, happy early birthday. Yeah. And uh, and yes, yes, you can laugh your ass off all you want. I enjoy the dad bod life. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but uh you actually uh i was i had that i had the uh military issues yeah uh, the the service connected issues i'll put it politely oh yeah because in the military you don't retire you expire yeah and uh <laughs> and uh fucking you actually felt for me you're like dude have you tried this shit out yet Here's here. I'm gonna give you the business happy fucking birthday here's some product to go with it tell me what you think and Ladies and gentlemen, I was not the key physical peak of health. I'll put it that way. I kind of gave up on a lot of shit <laughs> when it came to my health. I was, uh, I was, I gave up on the cigarettes. I was vaping. Yeah, and but I was cigars. also doing cigars, and now I don't do the cigars as much. Yep. And outside of that, fucking Jeff, what was what from from nine months ago till now? So nine months ago from now, I see, I see, yeah, healthier you. I mean, you're more, you can get up and spring up and you're not, your aches and your pains aren't there. Like when you're getting out of the chair, like I remember that was like. I started sounding like dad. You're like, oh. Yeah, I started sounding like dad. That's oh. when I knew something had to change. Yeah, and just, <laughs> you know, slow moving in the morning, um, taking Axio, you know, rather than. Drinking the, three cups three of coffee. Red Bulls. Like, like a, throughout yep, the night yep, when you're that working. Was, that was that, too. Yeah, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm like... I was four Red Bulls a day. Now I'm like two Axios a day because it's a 16-hour shift. Yeah. And just, it's a healthier you. I mean, and you're slimming down a bit, and you and definitely you, don't you, you clear made, a room. <laughs> <laughs> you made mention about my, uh, my, my skin, too, because I... Oh, yeah. You were, Rosacea. You were, yeah, you were saying... Uh, yeah, that little red spot shit's gone too. I'm like, yeah, the rosacea kind of went away a bit. Yep. Comes yeah. back occasionally like if I'm doing an event. Yeah. <laughs> but you you were saying it's like, dude, your skin looks like 10 times better. Yeah. It looks <laughs> it looks healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I I will I will attest to that. I mean, it was and you yourself too. Uh your knee surgery, your oh, two of them. Your two knee surgeries. I that first one you didn't spring back as quick as the second one. Oh, the second one, I knew what I could do. Yeah, the second one, you knew what you could do. But I've I've also seen your recovery time just snap to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, like recovery and everything like that. Plus, I'm working out a lot more now. And, and plus, you're 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 an extreme sports uh, figure. Yeah. Not not physically uh, right now because well, you took some time off to do the businesses. This is, this is. Oh, the businesses before this, yeah. So I did get. I looked down at one point. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, man. I'm like, how did that get there? I'm like, man. I don't I, even have like, kids. Why do I have a dad bod? I'm like, how am I getting a dad bod? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I better you know like gaining 15 pounds here and there, and you know like kind of chunking out in different areas of my body i just was like whoa i looked at a picture and i didn't recognize myself and i was like nope i gotta change i gotta get back to the whole foundation my foundation is even if i'm not an athlete getting paid for it i'm still gonna go work out every day or you know like 
you know, within, you know, five or six days or something like that. Hit it. And you're not dragging ass. Yeah, not drag ass, you know. Like, that was huge. But uh, after I got done with my pro career, like, 29, 30, I was like, oh, I can, I don't have to be a pro snowboarder anymore, so I don't have to work out at the gym or I didn't really drink a lot in my 20s. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can drink like Wait, every what? other day now. Wait, what? You didn't drink a lot in your 20s? Oh, just when I came here. Okay. <laughs> I really did, though. I mean, that's like kind of like a true fact. Like, I I had to, you know, do stuff and train and be healthy and be up, oh, like 4 o'clock in the morning to go do pictures and photos in the backcountry. So, yeah, kind of drinking just didn't mesh, but, yeah. So it, it's helped get me uh, out of a lot of my bad funks and stuff like that, I guess, you know, and just get back to my whole foundation. So I'm stoked. And we got some texting going on. Sorry, my apologies. I'm I'm trying to get in the chat room as well oh, here to say. in the chat room? Yeah, we have an active chat room on these things. Oh, uh, sweet. So if you're, you, you sign up with, like, your Twitter or your Facebook or whatever, uh, Teresa's in here, J-Mac's in here. I know A, uh, A1's in here. Uh yeah, good good times with this show, man, and and yeah, thank you for helping me kickstart it for the shots from the balcony as well as Bad Habits Network. You you realize you are the fault of why this exists. <laughs> I love being like, see, I love doing that. I love I love starting stuff and then kind of walking back and taking a long view, you know, from right, you know, eighty feet back or something like that, and you just see like people are kind of growing and. You're building a community like this is a community, and we're trying to build, you know, community around here too, centered like kind of like around life edge and stuff too. And you know, all this can it can all correlate and coexist. That's what's the the cool stuff about it. You know, like it uh, it works, man. It's uh, it's it's fun times. Yep. And uh, back to the Anaheim thing, uh, you actually got to drop me off at one of my meccas. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 you know, for for casual purchasing when it comes to the vapor industry, I kind of go to this one site and found out that it was at the store, the home front store, was actually, 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 fifteen minutes away. I'm like, Jeff, can we go there? Can we go there? Can we go there? Like a little fucking kid. Can we go there? <laughs> you were like a little kid. Yep. And it was good times too. Uh, from from landing from the landing to the wheels up, it was good fucking times. I can't. If you guys get a chance to join us on one of these uh, uh, health conventions for Life Vantage, I would actually welcome you with open arms. Yeah, absolutely. You know the the more the merrier, and yeah, the even more... if we don't do the convention shit, I mean, I was taking a few breaks and stuff. Oh, I mean, people take <laughs> breaks. You gotta go outside. Gotta go up and like walk around and do stuff. I mean, we have some awesome speakers and stuff like that. And I like to plug in with those too. But man, I gotta, I got a bladder of like a five year old. So yeah, I gotta, like, <laughs> especially then, I have one too. But it's only when I'm drinking beer, oh, ironically, or er, with all the Axio they're giving out for free. Fuck, that was wicked. Yeah, except I was like, Hey, oh, Gary, man. go buy a water bottle and hit the Axio booth. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, Hit it again, hit it again. Fucking sh- And then the, uh, the, the, the the freebies that they were giving away all the time. Oh, yeah. You walked away with like eight shirts, fucking <laughs> four fucking headsets. Yep. Headphone sets, pop sockets. They they have, they take care of their people. Yeah. That's what's really cool. I mean, it's, you know, and every time we, uh, we go to these conventions too, you know, it's just more of how can we help you out? How can we help you succeed? You know, versus a lot of companies too. Like, you know, I've worked, you know, in the linear... You know, I've worked for, I've been employed by big corporations and stuff like that too, where it's like, man, you're just a number and they're just going to try and work you until you're done. And then doing, you know, more of my conventional business with why me snowboards, you know, like all of a sudden I, I, I was chasing the, the carrot on the wheel and I felt like I was never going to catch it. Then I became the wheel. I'm like, if I wasn't there to do this or that, you know, like all of a sudden I'm the accountant, I'm oh, the janitor. I like, I like that. Analogy. I'm the, Yeah. And then I went to, you know, this model where it's like, let's build a machine in our garage. Let's build, you know, like a 67 Corvette. Let's restore it and let's make it so it can run and run without, you know, me not being involved all the time. That's what the cool part is about this model. And that's where I I jumped in and jammed out. And I'm noticing, too, uh, because, like I said, it's only I'm only into it year one. 
I'm I'm still doing my my hamster in the wheel thing, and I'm slowly becoming the wheel. Yeah, I'm, I've noticed that myself. I'm slowly becoming my own wheel. No carrot needed. Yeah, and uh, that's that's kind of the other thing. It's 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 nice to have the freedom because I know I have this to fall back on now, and I can make this full time. Yeah. And the best part is, is I can wake up and look in the mirror and say to myself, I choose to go to work today. Absolutely. That's, I choose uh... to go to that insurance paying job today. <laughs> I like to say that now because it's like, it's, it's so liberating. Yeah. To know that you don't have to do that, that there is other ways of, you know, getting from point A to point B. Yeah. And it, and a little bit, uh, a little slide note, folks, uh, a little bit of the income that comes into it uh, is also helping my bad habits. <laughs> y- you know what I'm saying, vapors? Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> hey, you know, it's, uh, it's used to do what you want with it, too. And, you know, like a lot of people, yeah, man, I mean, same thing, too. I mean, sometimes, you know, yeah, and, people uh, party. And uh, Patricia. Yeah. I'd love to get her on here to tell her story because that is a fantastic story. Oh, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's something I'm going to have to work on probably when you're out of town. Yeah. But you know what? You can always call me and we can always do the chat room. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> I just proved it today. Just don't put your headset on in the middle of shit and fuck up the fucking audio. <laughs> I will not put my output. I always talk with my headset on <laughs> all the time. So I'll just... So, yeah, guys, if you are curious uh, about what we are really talking about and you want to get more in-depth on your research, uh, the link is in the description of the show. Uh, if, you, if not, get a pen, write this down quick, and I'll even share it in the chat room. It's Gary Homry, H-A-M-R-E, dot lifevantage dot com. And, and that's L-I-F-E. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's it's going to be in the chat room. All right, cool, cool. I was going to spell it out for people, but he's well, yeah, it in life the chat room. Life Vantage is really a kind of a difficult one to, to to hit up on that one, but on the spelling. What's up, Sean? You want another beer? Okay, you need one. You're babysitting. Uh, there should be one. <laughs> hey, you know what? We got 10 minutes left. <laughs> so I got Sean up in the wings, uh, the guru himself. Uh, should be in the pack on the floor. It should say crap. Crap. Blatt, blats or something. <laughs> if not, there should be one another one in the fridge upstairs. But There's definitely I, ones in the fridge, too. Yeah, I, and I, I will be sending somebody out on a beer run just to say thank you to you. <laughs> We've given These, him Axio, life, too. Life happens, folks. Oh, dude, uh, you, you listened to the uh, Blown Pistons where I gave everyone... During the show, a packet of Axio, and they drank it. Oh, yeah. Within five minutes, you hear that shit take place. Yeah. And everybody's like, whoa. What is this fantastic thing? The world has seemed to slow down around me. I, <laughs> it's one of those, it's, it's, it's no crash, great flavors, green grape, sour so, cherry, dragon fruit, and which is my personal favorite, dragon fruit. And talking about Axio, too, so this is... You know, how many people drink something with caffeine in it? You know, whether it's... I'm just kind of curious on here, too. Like, I'd love to ask this question. You know, if you guys comment or however... Yeah, in, um, in the chat room, many, in the chat in room the chat for room, those of you listening right now, how, how many, much caffeine do you think no, you I mean, take? No, like, what is it? What are you drinking? Are you drinking, like, a rock star? Are you drinking Red Bull? Red Bull, are you soda, Pepsi, Mountain Dunkin' Dew. Donuts or yeah. Starbucks or, you know, because we're... I mean, I think it's like 99% of, you know, people our age, you know, in the 30s to 20s crowd, um, whether it's millennials or whatever you want to call us. Um, I'm not Jenna, whatever we are in that generation. We're, we're, but, we're, we're actually but, um, the the crossover generation the, because we were 81, 82. 81, yeah. We were the beginning of the millennials and the end of the Generation X. So we have... Gen Millen. Yeah, we're gen, ex, we're gen we're we're gen millens. extreme millennials. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're extreme millennials. So, anybody I don't like, like that though? In that crowd, though, <laughs> I really but, don't like that. Yeah, but how many people drink like rock stars? You know, day. How many people drink Red Bulls? How I'm many getting, people stop at Dunkin'? I'm getting two diet peppers, twelve ounces. I'm getting soda all day and monsters. Uh, S sucks in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, S bucks. Got it. Starbucks. Gotcha. So I mean. You know, how do you feel after you drink that? I mean, you might feel good for like the first 
hour maybe, but I need a five hour energy after in about two AM or two PM, whichever. <laughs> five hour energy. Oh my god. If you drink two of those, they do not equal ten hours of energy. <laughs> they equal They equal they a heart like, attack. No, they equal like if my friend told me three hours of hating yourself and hiding in a closet or something <laughs> like that. I'm like five hour energy? I'm like, you sure you're just okay. Um oh, dude, I've witnessed a guy do two at once and it was it was not good. Yeah. But all that stuff you're putting on your body. So, like, what are they? What's the average cost of what you're drinking? You know, like whether it's soda or whether it's Monster, or, you know, whether it's Starbucks. You know, Starbucks is probably like four bucks, right? Um, Monster is usually like two, three, four bucks. Red Bull, four, you know, four. I've never seen Red Bull for like anything less than two. So, you know, you take that and it's like one. I mean, Axio, it's it's dollar seventy three. And it comes directly to your house. So you don't have to go to the gas station or yep. wherever to get it. And that's instantly it changes, you know, it changed within five minutes. You feel that and you have a good six hours where you're not going to crash and you don't get the jitters and there's natural flavors in it. There's stuff that's, that's actually good for you. Right. And it's great. Did you mention the great brain food? Oh, yeah. It's okay. brain food. So, it's, yeah, it's a nootropic. So, if you listen to Joe Rogan's, not to endorse another podcast on my podcast. No, but no, like I'm Joe a fan Ro- of Joe Rogan. So, Joe Rogan talks a lot about nootropics. Um, that's essentially what Axio is. It's a nootropic. It's for your brain. Mm-hmm. And it helps us focus. And... Silence. I'm, I'm reading I'm reading the chat room. We reading got, the chat we room. Got, we, got, we got some questions here. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna just call her Teresa because she hates it when I do that. De la Rue. <laughs> De la Rue. Uh, she hates I that. I do that too. It's a cool <laughs> name. Uh, it's it's only uh, purchased in uh, packs of thirty. That that was yeah. a question that came in. And pff, it's a th- let's see, twice a day supply, fifteen days for me. Other people can just nail it once and be done. Yeah, I'm a one and done, but I. Don't really drink that much caffeine. I drink, yeah. it, I drink it in the morning, kind of like replaces coffee and all that stuff. I never really drank coffee. I still I'm have more my. Of a I still sweet. have my one cup in the morning because of that veteran, you know, military veteran thing. I can't. I can't break that habit. Yeah, I don't want to break that habit. I like the taste of coffee. No, you shouldn't. I mean, <laughs> coffee is totally okay. I just for some reason I like cold stuff in the morning. Right. And uh, the other, the other one we're sending it. We've we're, Jeff and I are both guilty of this one. We've actually mixed Axio with our uh, vodkas <laughs> and, and vodka Sprite. It's it's yeah, it's it's fun. You know, it gets it done. <laughs> it gets it done, but you know, you don't. That's a rock star cocktail in our book. <laughs> yeah, but you don't hate your life the next day. No, you don't. It, that that is. Thank you, Chris, for bringing that up. That that is something that is quite a bliss. It's like. Yeah, just to make just to be careful, I, I take one of those uh, Pro Tandem NRF ones. Is it the is it the single one that's a one? So you take uh, Nerf two. Nerf two. I take a I take a Nerf two before I go to bed and wake up feeling like a million bucks. <laughs> and that's all their trick too. Yeah, it's, yeah. There's there's some there's some life hacks when it comes to these things, folks. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, like we've learned how to, you know, like it's called. So I mean, like Life Edge is at the the forefront of biohacking. Yes. Um. And how we do that is through nutrigenomics, uh, the studies of how plants' natural compounds affect your body. But you know, biohacking, we're kind of we're changing our lives, and people have been doing this kind of for years since years. the veganism movement. Yeah, since veganism. But you know, you also see people doing it. You know, bad habits. You know, essentially could be called, you know, stuff that you do like you get drunk. You know, that's kind of biohacking because you're in a different state of mind. And yep. you know, like that's what. I guess that's what Axio would do too, you know. It puts you into a different state of mind where you're just more alert, more with it. And, and I feel I feel more positive about life when I like with this stuff. Yeah, I noticed that because uh, you 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 knew I you know I have the PTSD and the chronic depression and the anxiety. Yeah. I haven't really been having really any issues yet. That's what's up, man. <laughs> I you mean, know, I'm still waiting for that because my anxiety has has been very mellow. I haven't had a, a, a episode or an episode, excuse my grammar, uh, or have I, I really haven't been depressed. I've actually been getting people saying, dude, stop being so positive on Facebook. Stop <laughs> being Motivational Monday, Hammer. Motivational Monday is awesome. I'm just like, fuck you people. I love the motivation that I get now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you got to share that. 
Yeah, and that's what we're doing right now. That's why we. That's why Jeff and Jeff and I kind of just sat back yesterday at the on the patio while just sitting there, just doing nothing, arbitrarily enjoying the relaxation. Said, dude, we really need to talk about this shit on the show and share this with the people. Yeah, because the people need to hear about this, and they've been asking us about it. Yeah, and yeah. I've had fans ask me in the past, "What the fuck, man? What is this stuff?" And and even even back here too, there's a lot of. You know, a lot of interest going on just with the local community here. You yeah, know, and it's this is true. It's kind of huge. So, like, I grew up here, and I might be the kid that left Wisconsin or I left Janesville, but you know, in my heart of heart, like, I spent 18 years here, and when I saw GM leave, you know, I kind of broke my heart. Yep. And knowing that plant, um, they're tearing it down right now. That's never going to come back. You know, like that that sucks, man. Yeah. But you know, this is a way like. I've always, you know, like, why me? I wanted to bring a lot of my friends on my snowboard brand. And, and I'm try a, and, pun intended, I'm a board member. Yeah, and try <laughs> and bring people along with that ride. But there's only so many people you can help, you know, with snowboards or through snowboarding. Where this is more like a bigger scale of, you this know. This is, you can, help, you can help enjoy a better quality yeah. of life and I mean, a possible you can, longer life if you're, yeah. you know. Yeah, and you can build an awesome community. Exercise your bad habits responsibly, folks. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, uh to answer jmax question uh there is no discount code for bad habits network yet hint hint we're working on it yeah <laughs> <laughs> or sign up for a subscription yeah. and that's actually better than a discount code because yeah it is it is the subscription is better than a discount and- code with the subscription too, it's not like you're locked in for like a year, six months, three months, or anything like that. You know, if it's not for you, cancel at you know, any time. Yeah, no, uh, we can still be friends. <laughs> we can still be friends. 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 <laughs> it's all good. No, we... there's there's going to be no awkward eye contact in the morning, is there? <laughs> <laughs> Things got weird, didn't it, Mama? <laughs> yeah, but that's how you save. You know, subscribe and you know, feel the long term awesome effects. And plus the and we're gonna go a little bit over. Uh, plus, there's also the uh, rewards program that I found out that you can actually, if you subscribe or certain, you buy certain things or get certain people to, you know, hey, who who'd you hear about this? Well, I found this out through this customer. Oh, okay. Well, that customer now gets a you know program rewards points to free shit in the long run. Yeah. The more points, the better. Yep. And you know that's funny. That's how I actually. I got into this business because my friend, I was actually telling you, because I, I had two businesses, I had a lot going on, and I'm like, all right, dude, I'm like, here's my dad, here's this person, here's that person, send me a link to send this person, I was kind of playing middleman, he's like, you know, he's like, you should just do the business with this, bro, and right, I'm we like. Got a, we got another question, I have to yeah. interrupt you, uh, so when you join, it auto ships? It auto ships, yeah, you have the option to select auto ship, or you have the option to you know just do like a one-time thing if you want to try it but auto ship is the best way to save money subscribe 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 and save and like amazon says yeah subscribe um it ships on the the 5th the 10th the 15th uh the 20th and the 25th so those are like the five auto ship days i'm kind of right yes See, you're, you're no i See, I'm, I'm, I'm i can do this i can't even count <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually fact checking you on this one yeah because i've been i've been on it all morning yeah. So yeah, and you were saying you were playing the middleman. So I was playing the middleman, right? Uh, I was, you know, just referring all these people, and you know, he's like, "You should do this." So I'm like, "I got no time. I got two businesses, bro." And then he and said, "I'm in that same boat." And then he said, "You know, you remember like when you rode from Monster? You know those energy drinks that you never used to drink and fell full of water." And he's like, "You know, what if you could make?" a tenth of a penny for every one of those that you sold that had your name or your face on it or because somebody saw you riding with the Monster logo that you got money for that. And I was like, oh, oh, I guess I am referring you. I referred you like 10 people. So, all right. You know, and then it was, it was around the same time too. My dad came home. Um, I was over there visiting barbecuing and I went over there. Uh, my dad's car was outside, and he was on the phone talking to his investor because he found out he was getting axed uh, from you know his corporate job. He was an engineer at this mill for 18 years or something like that. And then I watched that happen back here in Wisconsin when uh, he got axed from his other you know job because the 
the com- both companies, you know, like the one went out of business and he got pushed out, you know, cause he was too old or, you know, they're doing cuts and stuff like that. So I've watched my dad lose his pension several times. So all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm at high noon. Like I got to do this because the corporate, that whole, you know, the way of we were taught to do this, you know, like go to college, get a job. I, sorry, just didn't work. we got another uh, question. Another question. Do you choose the ship date or f- just from the last order date? So you can choose the ship date um, if you want it to be on the 5th, 10th, 15th, 20th, 20th 25th, 25th. You can choose it for any one of those days. Yeah, and, um, and now, like I, now I'll give you guys a prime example. Myself, personally, I get a, uh, a, st- a stipend every first of the month for my service in the military and that's I usually hit it for the 5th so it auto ships every 5th of the month. Now, February there's a reason why it doesn't ship on the 30th of the month. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you're every 4 years in February. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well it still won't ship on the 30th every yeah, 4 years. <laughs> it still won't ship on the 30th because yeah. Yeah, in February folks, look that up. There, there there's only 28 days every 3 years. Yeah. Fun fact, nice. there's still water in the Titanic pool area. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Man. Installing screen doors in submarines was not as lucrative as I would, <laughs> would have imagined. Hey, fuck you. I'm the one who installed rotating doors into a mountain. Wow. Yeah, huh? Think, let that one be a what, brain boggler before you go to bed tonight, folks. You know, and here I was like, make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Make like a tree and leave. All right, guys. Speaking of which, we got to go. I have uh, chitlins to check up on, and Sean is about ready to choke all four of them. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. If you're Matt, listening to this. shout out to you guys. Uh, Matt, shout out to the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Gary the Hammer. Yeah. And I am Jeff the Shredneck Lavin. So thank you. And we're out like fat kids in dodgeball. Get awesome.